The district's insurance committee is now restarting the quote process, which could take weeks. And if no decision is made by December 31st, the entire district could lose health insurance. WEAR's Brent Carney reports on the next steps to prevent that from happening. One by one. Even if we go to the, the second tier, will still be an increase that we can't afford. Teachers sharing the financial hardships they would endure under a new insurance plan. If this goes through and another 416 is taken out because I would be the $862 plan, I would be bringing home $310.05 a week. After nearly five hours of discussion that went into the early morning hours of Friday, the board ultimately voted to table the decision. One board member saying she felt pressured to make a decision on such a complex issue so quickly. Another board member even saying he wasn't confident the decision the board would make would be the right one. Well, I thought it was the right decision. It's what I asked for. Um, I felt at the meeting we had with the insurance committee, la committee last week, we didn't get the work products until, the, until we met. And it, I, I didn't feel like we, uh, an informed decision was made. I'm happy to hear that they decided to table it so we can get some extra options and maybe see if there's any other solutions out there. The deadline for the insurance committee to approve the new plan has now passed. The committee will now restart the quote process, which they say could take weeks. In order for the board to stay on the current plan and keep premiums the way they are, the district would need to pay more out of pocket, a cost some board members say the district could afford. The new deadline, December 31st, and with two-week holiday breaks in November and December, the board says the committee needs to act fast to come up with a better solution for the employees. If you don't have an option or if a decision isn't made by January 1st, what would happen? Would, we, would the district lose insurance? Well, that we're, that's not going to happen. We're going to make sure that we do everything that we can to get the stop-loss insurance, have open enrollment so that when our insurance policy expires on December 31st, our employees have insurance starting on January 1 with the new policy. That's a little nerve wracking, but I'm hoping that they're going to work hard and come up with some better solutions. I know that we can't stay with where we're at. I know what they've been, they proposed is not an option either. There has to be a middle ground some way, somehow. The insurance committee is set to meet early next week. In Santa Rosa County, Brent Carney, WER News.